Uh, you will remember that when the pandemic began, uh, Canada lacked the large-scale, uh, flexible biomanufacturing capacity, which was needed, and we talked about that much, the reasons for that, and we said we were lacking that as a G7 country to make sure that we could produce domestically our vaccines, whatever may come next, during this pandemic or future pandemic. And we were, uh, it was more difficult because we did not have the basic capacity to attract major vaccines producers. That's why we took immediate action. And indeed, just days after the World Health Organization in March 11, 2020, uh, declared a global pandemic, we were investing close to a billion dollars uh, to make sure that we could support and boosting our biomanufacturing capacity because we understood that was key uh, to provide more resilience and to support Canadian vaccine and research development across the country. We focus on short-term strategic actions, but I would say with the long-term vision to make sure that we would be more resilient to pandemics and be better prepared to face any future health emergency. And I think what we can say is that focus has brought us here today for this great announcement. The life science sector is, is a great driver of innovation and we know that innovation is driving prosperity. So increasing our biomanufacturing capacity is not only critical to protect the health and safety of Canadians, but that's also providing good jobs and, and helping us to rebuild the ecosystem. Uh, you know, Canadians expect us to be prudent in, in, in being better prepared, onshoring domestic production as much as I can onshore in Canada to make sure we're resilient. We don't know exactly what the future may, may, may have in store for us, but one thing we know is to be more resilient. And, and, you know, if it's booster variants or if Canada to Novavax can contribute, and that was part of the discussion I had with the CEO, there's, we, we need to vaccinate the world. So, yes, it's a good thing that Quebecers and Canadians are vaccinated, but there's still a lot of people in the world to vaccinate. And if we can play a key role in, in that, I think that's going to be... Uh, that's going to be well recognized and Canada has always been there for the world in times of crisis and I think we can play a, a, a bigger role when it comes to health. We're already thinking about how we can help with booster and variants should there be a need for that and then how can we help uh, to, uh, to, to tackle this global pandemic because we said it from the get-go, we'll only be safe when everyone gets vaccinated and you know as I do uh, there, there are still millions, if not billions, of people to be vaccinated in the world. Manager, uh, for the facility. So, welcome to the QC laboratory.